Hey guys, welcome to the 12th episode of DevOps for Developers. So in this episode, I'm going to be talking about Mina and uh, you know how it works as a deployment tool and how we can leverage it in our uh, application deployment workflow. So originally, I know I said that we're going to write some deployment script using Git, but um, you know that was because I didn't like uh, you know I didn't like Capistrano, I didn't like the output, and it was slow. So I figured that okay, fine, we'll do a little bit of work, get it up, you know, get it up right. But then, you know, I found this cool new tool called Mina and, uh, you know, it's, you know, we've been using it at our, at our, at our agency and uh, things have been working out pretty great. So I wanted to, you know, ditch our Git deployment and then just, you know, use Mina as our, as our workflow. So this is uh, what we're going to be talking about in this episode and uh, let's dig into it. All right. So first, uh, initially we want to install our gem, um, you know, so gem install Mina. Uh, once we do that, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have Mina install in our application and we can call it uh, from our terminal. Um, it might be a good idea to add uh, Mina to your gem file, but it's not necessary. Um, you know, if you're using things like continuous deployment, uh, continuous integration, you might need to add it to your gem file. But I found that in most cases, uh, like in our case, like right now, we're just deploying directly from our computer. So we don't need to do that. Um, so I'm just going to let that gem install. Uh, there it is. It's installed. So now we can call uh, Mina init. So let's initialize Mina for our Rails project. So Mina init. So what this is going to do is it's going to generate a config file in our uh, you know config folder in our application. So it says here, edit this file and run Mina setup after. Great. So let's open up our project. So I'm going to do sublime dot to open up our project and I have it right here. All right. So here in config, we have our deploy. Uh, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to configure this domain to be checkin.me. So this is basically the domain that we're using for our server. Um, here I'm going to do OPT. So this is all like, you know, from the previous episodes that we set up our application. Um, you know, basically this is a, what we, you know, what we're using, uh, you know, for, for our, our path. So then I'm going to have the Git repository. So I'm just going to copy my Git repository from my GitHub. And here we go. Uh, so the branch is going to be develop branch, right? Uh, we need to set the user. So our user is a deployer, right? On our server, we're using the deployer user. Uh, everything else uh, is, is okay. Um, you know, we are using RBNV. So what we need to do is we need to enable RBNV. So up here, I'm going to do mina rbnv right there uh so you just uncomment the line is already there so mina works right out of the box with rbnv so that's a nice thing um okay so that's pretty much it um so th you know this will basically get us started i mean that's all you really need to do um you know mina camp comes right out of the box and it just works so that's it's really really cool so what we need to do here is you know we're not going to launch our application we just need to configure our application to deploy correctly first right uh, so once we've uh, done all that, um, you know, now we need to basically run Mina setup. So let's see if it, that's going to work. So Mina setup. Okay, so over here, um, you know, I've run Mina setup and it says here that we need to, uh, you know, be sure to edit shared config database.yaml. So actually, I've already run this once. So let me just log into my server and, uh, you know, remove everything and then start from scratch. That'll probably be better. Uh, so I'm going to SSH into my deployer at checkin.me. All right, so I'm just gonna go into my CD OPT www and I'm gonna rm rf checkin.me. So I'm just gonna nuke the entire folder and I'm gonna run Mina setup again so that you know we're at the same level. Uh, you know, I didn't set anything up before you guys. So Mina setup and uh, that will basically, yeah, so that's what it should look like. So it just says be sure to edit database.yaml. Okay, so con shared config database.yaml. So one thing to note, uh, Mina's deploy structure is very much similar to Capistrano. So, you know, there's going to be a few changes to the files that we have to make. 
to make it all work correctly. So I'm just going to do an LS. So there it is. That check is just got generated. So I'm going to CD into that. And I'm going to go into shared. And I'm going to do a CD config. And I'm going to edit this database.yaml file. So vi database.yaml. All right, so this is just an empty file. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and copy uh, my production configuration into here. Okay, that didn't work right. So I'm just going to quit that and try again. So here I press I and I'm just going to copy that. So that, you know, basically that's what your database uh, production configuration should look like. Um, you know, we are using Shopper production database. So we did all this already once uh, previously when we were going to do our Git deployment. Uh, but, you know, since th this is now Mina's way of doing it, you know, it's it's in the shared folder. So we need to reconfigure to make sure that everything works this with, with, with our new configuration. So this is what your uh, database YAML is going to look like. Uh, I'm going to do an escape and then uh, just, you know, save and quit. And there we go. So that's basically our database.yaml. Um, and basically now we can try running a deploy, right? Um, you know, actually before we run, a, you know, let, let's try and run our deploy. So Mina deploy. So what we're going to get is we're going to get an error that says that, um, Yeah, so it's gonna say that you know permission denied, public key, uh, remote hung up unexpectedly. So basically, let me explain what's going on here. So once we do Amina deploy, what's gonna happen is instead of us pushing our source code from our computer over into our server, what's gonna happen now is when you do Amina deploy, our server is gonna go and pull our repository from on GitHub into the server directly. So you know the the server needs to be able to communicate with GitHub. So the way we do that is, uh, you know, we need to configure um, our, 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 we need to generate our our key, uh, our public key uh, using SSH, and uh, we need to copy our public key over to GitHub. So to do that, uh, I'm just gonna go over into my server, and I'm gonna basically uh, run SSH keygen hyphen t rsa hyphen c deployer at checkin.me. So yeah, I'm just going to put it in the default. Yeah, let's overwrite that. You guys might not need to overwrite because you haven't run it before. Um, or you may have, I don't know. But yeah, I mean, once you get that, now what we need to do is we need to copy our public key uh, into GitHub. So I'm just going to do uh, cat dot SSH slash ID RSA dot PUB. And there we go. I'm just going to copy that real quick. And uh, now I'm going to head over into my browser and I'm going to go to my GitHub to basically uh, add in our public key. So SSH key, add SSH key. There it is, uh, DOFD. And I'm going to click add key, put in my password if I can remember it. All right, so now we have the public key installed. Uh, the next step we need to do is we need to initialize this, this connection. So I'm gonna do ssh git at github.com. Okay, so now we have successfully authenticated, right? So, you know, we can now, uh, you know, our server can now pull the source code from GitHub. So let's try that out again, Mina deploy. Nothing's happened yet. My mouse accidentally scrolled. So now it's going to clone our repository uh, into the, you know, into the, the, our working directory on our server. So check this out. It's going to install all the gems and, you know, do all that kind of stuff for you. So pretty cool, right? Like you don't have to configure, uh, you know, your server to do any of that stuff for you. You know, basically, Amina just takes care of everything for you. So I'm just going to let that run and it will be right back. 
oh, my bundle uh, install has uh, completed and it's now basically running the database migration even though we don't have any database migrations it's just going to check it and if it finds it it's going to run it if it doesn't find it it's going to automatically skip it for you um, again pre-compiling assets uh, you know this is a, a, a all automated by Mina well if Mina detects that there's a change in your assets file it's going to run the, the you know compile assets for you so in this case I'm doing an initial deploy um, so what's going to happen is it's going to it's going to compile that assets uh, you know for for the application so we'll let that run Okay, um, so basically once your, uh, you know, your deploy is finished, you, it's gonna look something like this. You're gonna have, you know, moving build release. So basically this is, it's now successfully, you know, deployed our application. Um, if we check our deploy script, you're gonna see something. We commented out this launch section. Um, I don't know if you, if you saw that, but we commented out the launch section because, you know, this is not the correct launch command for our application. Um, we are using upstart, so that means that we need to modify this part to be something like this. We start uh, shopper. However, um, the way that we have configured our server right now is, you know, we need sudo privileges. So what we're going to do is I'm going to pause this episode here. Uh, I'm going to put that back so that in the next episode, I'm going to continue with this, um, you know, with, with this configuring this launch command and you know all the stuff that we have to do to correct our server configuration to make it work right yeah uh so yeah i'm going to conclude this episode here and we'll see you guys in the next episode